two of the country's most popular politicians are teaming up to introduce legislation that I think is actually really phenomenal and it's innovative. And if this were to pass, it really would be great. So as Renee Merle of the Washington Post reports, Senator Bernie Sanders and Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez will introduce legislation on Thursday to cap credit card interest rates at 15 percent, a steep reduction from current levels. Americans have more than one trillion in credit card debt, according to the Federal Reserve. In addition to a 15 percent federal cap on interest rates for credit cards and other consumer loans, states could establish their own lower limits under the legislation. It would also allow the U.S. Postal Service to get into the banking business, including offering savings and checkings accounts. So that last little bit there, I really like. Bernie Sanders floated this idea, I believe, back in 2016, I want to say. And I love the idea of allowing the U.S. Postal Service to basically act as small community banks. I think that's a fantastic idea. And capping the interest rates of credit cards really is important when you see how high these interest rates really are. So if you have good credit, then you're looking at about 17, 18% interest rates. If you have poor credit, you're looking at nearly 25% interest rates. So even if you have good credit, no blemishes on your record, you're still going to be looking at a 17 to 18% interest rate for credit cards. That is absolutely astronomical, and it's easy to see how these companies are ripping Americans off. So I think that this is necessary, and this actually isn't a new proposal because back in the 1980s, this was the cap that was imposed on credit unions. So basically, what Bernie Sanders and AOC, what they're doing is they're just saying, look, Let's go back to the way things were. This is the same thing that they are doing when it comes to new tax proposals. Like AOC is saying, look, let's go back to the time when the marginal tax rate was 70%. Now, in actuality, it was higher. It was more like 90%. But by basically saying, let's go back, you're trying to not scare people. Because anytime there's this new sweeping change, people tend to think, well, look, I don't know how this is going to affect me personally, so I'd rather just opt for no change rather than change that I'm unfamiliar with. So what they're doing here is really clever. They're basically saying, we're just going to go back to a time when things worked because we knew what that policy produced. The results were fantastic. So that's all that we're proposing. And I think that that's a clever way to govern if you are trying to cultivate popular support for your policy. Now, the banking industry made more than $100 billion dollars based on interest rates and fees last year alone. And that's a 35% increase since 2012. So this is a much needed change. And I'm really glad that they're teaming up because it's nice to see the two most popular politicians in America do something and introduce a policy that is one, needed, but two, will likely get public support because they're introducing it. So I love this, love that they're teaming up here. I love that AOC is endorsing this idea as well. I'd like for her to endorse a particular politician currently, so maybe think about that, AOC. Be nice if you uh, give Bernie Sanders a helping hand, especially now that Biden is surging, and we all know that Biden would be awful. But nonetheless, getting back to the subject at hand, love the policy idea. I think it's brilliant. And I want more 2020 presidential candidates to keep pushing the envelope. Every single week, we should be seeing new ideas. I think Elizabeth Warren really is setting the bar in terms of in introducing new policies. And this is really what you've got to do. If you want to garner interest for your presidential campaign, you've got to keep it fresh. You've got to keep the policies coming. And this is what Bernie's doing. And um, I'm glad that he's teaming up with AOC here. They're a great combo. And uh, I hope that this will get passed if Democrats are able to take back the Senate in 2020. You could support the Humanist Report at patreon.com slash humanist report. But trust me, I'd have way more supporters on Patreon if that was my podcast, sad. <laughs>